Welcome back to Real Scent Review. I'm Joe, and time for another fragrance review. Please subscribe, like the video, and like the bell up top so you can get some notifications on your phone, computer, or tablet. So tonight I'm going to review a modern classic, another modern classic, one that has really been a trendsetter as far as sweet, powerful, projecting, voluminous club scents for young men, and it's Paco Rabanne's One Million Eau de Toilette. Right off the bat, I will mention, Paco Rabanne is, is, is famous for his extravagant, flamboyant cologne bottles, uh, both for male and female offerings. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not a particular fan of the bottles, but that has no beer, that has no bearing on my opinion of the sense whatsoever. It's, uh, it's what's on the inside that counts, as they say. So, Paco Rabanne is, in general, known for making, you know, loud, very loud, projecting scents. So, um, when One Million Eau de Toilette came out, I remember I was in high school, this took the world by storm. I remember people lining up outside our local drugstore in my small town, ready and waiting to buy this stuff as soon as it came out. That's how much hype had been generated before the thing was even released. And to be honest, I remember smelling this for the first time and I was taken aback at how just amazing I thought it smelled back then. Um, how powerful, how sweet, um, just how intense it was. It, it, was not, it was like nothing I had experienced before. And that's exactly what Paco Rabanne was going for when they released this. They wanted the wearer to be noticed. This is a scent that you want to wear if you want to be noticed. Um, like I said, it's perfect for club wear, going out, um, things of that nature. So getting into the actual scent, I'm going to start by wasting a spray here. Now the distribution is not that bad. However, I will mention, if you look at the trigger up on top here, you notice it's, it's hard to, to push it down. It's really awkward. Like my fingers are too big to press it down. Just another example of an honestly abysmal sprayer from, from Paco Rabanne. Uh, you know, this, this house is not really known for their good quality atomizers. I think this is just another example of a, of a terrible <laughs> trigger from Paco Rabanne. Anyway, like I said, the design of the bottle, the function of the bottle really has no bearing on the scent whatsoever. So right up front, it's a very strong cinnamon. Very strong, slightly synthetic, but loud cinnamon uh, mixed with some, some sweet mandarin orange. Now, I have reviewed some scents before where mandarin orange is a prominent top note. In those particular sense the 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 blood mandarin was it took on a little bit of a citric fuzzy uplifting fresh smell this the iteration of blood mandarin in this particular fragrance is is definitely on the sweet side it's a sweet orange you can you can you can notice the sweet orange in this definitely mixed with the synthetic cinnamon and there's also a very prominent grapefruit note um now, like I said, the, the notes in this are, are pretty synthetic, to be honest. That does not mean that it smells bad. In fact, I quite enjoy the smell of this. I think this is a really good scent. It just, it, it does come across a little bit synthetic and very loud at the beginning. Having said that, I am a huge fan of the opening of this. The, the cinnamon and the grapefruit especially, they kind of combine and there's a little bit of a leather note that comes in after a few minutes here. It's mostly the cinnamon mixed with the grapefruit and the leather. It almost has a, a smoky, it has a smoky accord to it. It, 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 it just gives a, the feeling of smoke. It's, it's, it's sweet, yes, but there's also a, if I could put it into words, there's like a staticiness, you know, static on a television screen or static on a radio. If static had a smell, that's what I would liken this to. The opening here, there's a very fuzzy, you know, harshness that smells quite good, to be honest with you. It's a mixture of the cinnamon, the grapefruit, and a slight little bit of 
of leather. It adds, you know, like I said, a fuzzy, smoky, kind of staticky accord. I quite enjoy that. By the way, I have heard other people comment on the opening of this. Um, there are a lot of people out there who feel, who have the same sort of opinion that I do, that it gives a kind of, I don't know, smoky nuance. So for fans of the opening of this, Paco Rabanne, One Million Eau de Toilette, I recommend to you Paco Rabanne's offering called Phantom. It's a relatively new release. It comes in a robot bottle. Anyway, that's a review for another night. But fans of the opening of One Million Eau de Toilette, um, I've been I have found that they, they also really like Phantom, one of his other scents. So, if you're moving more and more into the, into the mids and into the dry down here, <clears throat> there are some other general spicy accords here, but it's all overpowered by cinnamon. Cinnamon and, and the blood mandarin are definitely the two prominent notes here. Um, they do come across as sweet, you know, but there's a... Now there's a... definitely because of the leather and there's some woody accords... Um, there's no specific wood mentioned by name, but I think honestly it's a little bit of a cedar note. Cedar's generally uh, a pretty easy scent to replicate, and this being a synthetic offering, it's, it's likely cedar is the note that they were going for. So, you definitely get the sweetness of the cinnamon and the spiciness. The cinnamon, it's not just, it's not just sweet by itself, there's also a spice to it. So that's very nice. Um, and that's definitely accompanied by this woody undertone. And the woody undertone almost adds a little bit of a freshness to it, a fresh woodiness. It's quite nice. Um, you know, this, this thing starts out as a very cloyingly sweet scent, but it dries down into something just really quite nice, almost classy, I would say, in a way. Um, yeah, and the, and, and, and the later dry down, it's, you definitely get some amber and some patchouli. Um, I, I honestly think... After the first few minutes of spraying, the amber does make itself known, and, and you can kind of detect a little bit of a bubblegummy nuance, and that's from the amber. I, I think that's kind of a staple in most of Paco Rabanne's modern offerings, is that that ambery wood synthetic accord that, that lends, like I said, a little bit of a bubblegum type of feeling to the smell. So that is slightly present throughout this whole lifespan of this offering. Um, which leads me to when would I wear this? Uh, this is definitely meant for cooler weather. Um, I would not wear this in anything above 20 degrees Celsius. Although people do it, but honestly it comes off as very cloying if you wear this in the heat, in the high heat especially. So I would keep this to, you know, if, you're, if you must wear this in the summer, I would say purely a nighttime scent. And if that, you know, only on cooler nights. Fall, spring... Definitely winter would be the seasons um, that I would choose to wear this. Co former, formal or casual, <laughs> this is definitely a casual scent. This is, this is a scent that you wear out to a club when you want to get noticed. Um, you know, doing outdoor activities in, in the fall, spring, or, or winter time with friends. Um, you know, um, it's not, there's, there's nothing formal about this scent whatsoever. It is meant for um, young males to, you know, essentially get attention. And that's, that's the reason for this scent. That's why it exists. And to be honest, it does a pretty good job of it. Um, I think it's a very nice scent. Definitely gets you noticed. And it, you will get compliments wearing this from people of any age. I find, um, you know, while this scent is made for males from, you know, teenage years to, I'd say maximum age 30 could get away with wearing this it's a very youthful young scent um having said that i think you know I, i've received compliments myself from from people of all ages while wearing this so you know uh there are people out there who who, who appreciate it who like the scent and to be honest with you that doesn't surprise me because it's very mass appealing it's crowd pleasing it's, it's designed to get attention um having said that very strong I would I would avoid high heat while wearing this. Leads me to the price. Um, this is a 200 milliliter bottle, and I got this for about $100 Canadian two years ago, retail at a perfume store. Um, the price of this varies widely. You can find this for very cheap online. 
There are certain retailers that charge an exorbitant rate, but I promise you this is very easy to find at a very good price if you look online. So, closing thoughts. I would give this an 8 out of 10, just because, you know, to be honest with you, it's not the most um, classy or refined scent, but you know what? It doesn't have to be. That's not why it was designed. It was designed just to make you smell really good and to get compliments. And like I said, it does a very good job of that. So um, if those are things that appeal to you, I think you can't go wrong at all with Papa Rabanne 1 million Eau de Toilette. Well, that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.